Hi guys. In this tutorial we're going to go over basic forms, offset surface, join, explode, and closed and open poly surfaces as well as booleans. Let's get started. If we go over here to our tools we can see a little cube here. Now if we were to right click this there's all these different basic primitive forms. Let's start with a cube. Any size will work. Let's just hit a sphere. And what about a cone? Doesn't matter what shape. Now in the first exercise, let's offset all of these surfaces and make them a solid. So first, let's just type in offset surface. You can use SRF as a shortcut. Now if we look at these, we see all the arrows. That is the direction in which it will be uh, offsetting at. Now we have the option of making it solid. Or we can flip the direction, typing in F spacebar. Let's flip it back. We also have the distance. So let's just make it somewhat of a larger distance so we can see. And then solid and right click. Notice how they've grown. Notice how if we select it we can see an inner layer of the sphere as well as the exterior. The cube, since it's two inside there, we can see the interior and exterior and this cone. That's offset surface. Now let's undo that. Next, let's go over join, exposed, enclosed and open poly surfaces. So let's first go over poly surfaces. A sphere is one singular surface. So technically it's not a poly surface. A cube, since it's made up of six different sides, is technically a poly surface. It takes six sides to create the cube. A cone is a poly surface. Why is that? Because it has a flat bottom and a surface around. Now let's go over exploding. We could type in explode and now if we select on any face it's a singular object and we're able to move it creating a box or open box. Another trick to explode is if you hit your center scroll button, a little pop-up menu will come up and the explode commands right there. And we're able to move without the bottom. Now let's go over join. Let's select two surfaces over a box. And move them out. Now say we want to make these two surfaces one singular one. Select them both, type in join. They join because there's a similar edge. Now let's join all these surfaces together and hitting our center scroll button we can hit the puzzle piece that says join. And let's connect this cone together again selecting it and if we hit control J that also joins it. Now let's go over Booleans. A boolean is something that joins all the surfaces together or subtracts them. So let's start with a boolean join of these two poly surfaces. So if we go over to these two spheres that are connected here, let's say boolean union. Connect going through here, there's all sorts of different options, but we'll just do union first. Hitting that makes these two things one similar object. You can see how it trimmed out of the box. Next let's boolean subtract the cube or the sphere from the cube. So if we go over to the boolean again, right click, we see a boolean difference. Now let's select the sphere. Notice how it gets taken away. Next let's go over scaling. If we type in scale, we can select a point and start to move this in a uniform direction making it bigger. Next, let's hit scale again without hitting enter and go to scale 1D. 
selecting a point again, we're able to make this longer in one direction, and we also can make it longer in the other. Next, let's try Scale 2D. This works in the XY plane, not changing the height, also works in the Z. These are the basics of 3D solids.